13.7 billion years ago, the Big Bang, time and space are created. 13.5 billion years ago, stars first appear in the universe. For billions of years, stars are born and they die, contributing their elements to the makeup of the interstellar medium. 4.6 billion years ago, a nebula, a sort of giant molecular cloud comprised mainly of hydrogen, lithium, and helium, endures a gravitational collapse, forming a protoplanetary disk and subsequently our solar system. The planets, including Earth, are formed out of this disk. Four billion years ago, late heavy bombardment pelts the inner planets with a barrage of celestial objects. 3.8 billion years ago, life on Earth begins. 2.3 billion years ago, cyanobacteria induce the great oxygenation event, stimulating accumulation of oxygen in the atmosphere. 2 million years ago, Homo erectus evolves in Africa. You are here. 10,000 years from now is the most probable estimated end of technological civilization, according to Frank Drake's original formulation of the Drake Equation. 50,000 years from now, the current interglacial period will end, sending Earth into the next ice age, regardless of the effects of anthropogenic global warming. One million years from now, both the Pyramids of Giza and Neil Armstrong's footprint on the moon will erode to unrecognizable forms. 250 million years from now, all the continents on Earth will fuse into a supercontinent. One billion years from now, as the sun's radiation output increases, its circumstellar habitable zone will move outwards, making the Earth's surface too hot for liquid water to exist, and all life on Earth will most likely end. Five billion years from now, the sun will reach the tip of the red giant state, achieving its maximum radius of 256 times present day size. In the process, Mercury, Venus, very likely Earth, and possibly Mars will be destroyed. During these times, it is possible that Saturn's moon, Titan, could achieve surface temperatures necessary to support life. Seven billion years from now, our sun will pass through helium-burning horizontal branch and asymptotic giant branch phases, leaving the core of the sun behind as a white dwarf. The other remaining planets will become dark, frigid hulks, completely devoid of any form of life. One quadrillion years from now, gravity of passing stars will detach planets from orbits as our solar system ceases to exist. 10 to the 14th power years from now, other existing stars in the universe will burn out, and new stars will cease to be created. The universe goes dark. 10 to the 1,000th power years from now, the universe will reach maximum entropy, or heat death, in which there is a dearth of thermodynamic free energy, and neither motion nor life can be sustained. The universe will cease to exist.